All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, um, not a whole lot going on this week. Um, yesterday, got a little tied up, had to tow a truck up to Virginia that was having some issues. So, that took up a good part of my day yesterday. And today, doing a lot of just, you know, running errands and normal stuff. So, not really getting any time in the shop this week. Uh, but one thing, as I left off at the end of the last video that I wanted to go over and I'm looking forward to myself is these boxes here behind me. Um, it take a couple minutes, open them up, check them out. Um, in case you guys don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, if you follow there, you'll see stuff before you do on here. Uh, a little while back, I actually won a set of wheels for the race truck. So I'm getting ready to open them up now. There was a six to eight week lead time on those wheels. I actually ended up taking about 10 weeks before I actually saw them. So. Anyways, finally getting a chance to open them up now, see what they look like, probably test fit one on the dad bod, see what they look like. But in, in the end, these wheels are gonna be going on the regular cab, at least for a little while. So we're gonna pull them out, check them out real quick, and I'll touch base with what I think. All right, so as you could tell, obviously, we got ourselves a set of Bogarts. So what we ended up with, they're a set of 17 by 11 Bogarts. The design is the D10s. Um, I believe the other style a lot of people run is the Eliminator. I got these just to be a little bit different. And also, they kind of simulate a five lug pattern just to kind of look more like a, I don't know, a race wheel in my opinion. And also, like I said, it's not a wheel that everybody runs. So I just like to be a little bit different. Um, in fact, I only know of a couple trucks that are actually running these wheels, one being Adam's truck. So, so like I said, they're the D10 wheels uh, from Bogarts. They, it's a five spoke like design, I guess you would say. Um, and like I said, it kind of just simulates a more of a race wheel in my opinion. So they're 17 by 11s and you can pick your backspacing that you want to go with. And what I went with was four and three quarters to try to keep it tucked up under the fender a little bit more. And honestly, as you can tell, I could have went more. Honestly, if I was to do it all over again, I would probably go five or five and a half inch even maybe just to push the wheel further up under the fender wheel, just to kind of, uh, like I said, keep it more tucked, keep torque steer down, um, keep it up under the truck a little bit more. But I don't know, we'll see how these do. I like the way they look most definitely. So they're gonna, they're gonna look really good on the race truck. But yeah, like I said, um, I actually won these wheels. Um, I don't really want to say on YouTube how I went about winning them because this stuff kind of gets monitored and it's kind of frowned upon by Uncle Sam. So if you have any questions, if you guys don't already know how to go about winning some of these items, um, the best way is just hit me up on Instagram and Messenger, um, Melton Pistons on Instagram as well, just same as it is here. Um, and I can fill you guys in on what to do and how you could win your own set. Um, this stuff isn't like one of those deals where, you know, oh, they're doing a giveaway and, you know, some random person across the country won. No, this here, I mean, I, I won these wheels, but I know a handful of other people personally that have won items. In fact, Trevor, he just won a set of 625s, valve bridges, valve springs, push rods, the, the whole works for the valve train on his blue truck. He just won off of this same deal, the same way I won these wheels. So... I highly recommend if you guys aren't already, check out this stuff. And like I said, if you don't know how to go about winning it, feel free to message me on Instagram and I'll fill you in on how to go about winning it. So along with the wheels comes a note from Bogart. They also, of course, they want you to test fit all the way around, make sure there's no clearance issues, make sure everything's good to go, make sure the lug pattern's right, backspacings, all this stuff is the way that it's supposed to be. So I will open up all the rest of these boxes. Um, ain't no need to do it on here. It'd be kind of boring just to watch me open packages. But I'm gonna go through, open them all up, make sure they all look the same, look how they're supposed to, no major issues with them, no defects, no damage from shipping, any of that stuff. And um, test fit them on the back as well, just to make sure everything's fine there. 
and then they'll get packaged back up and put on the shelf. Um, I may, we'll see how things go. I may eventually throw them on this truck for the time being, just to try a little bit more of a, I don't know, more of a, a strip based tire as opposed to a street radial, like I've been running with those ET streets. Um, we'll kind of see how that goes. The ultimate goal was to put a set of 28105s s on these wheels here and run these on the regular cab so that that way I could run small tire at our local track. Um, I'm gonna still do some more talking to people. That's still what I'd like to do, but if it looks like I'm gonna have too big of an issue with that small of a tire, I may go ahead and Mickey Thompson has an ET Street R that's a 315, I believe. Um, equals out to like a 30 inch tall tire. Really good radial, um, know a lot of people running them. And in fact, I used to run them on the 06 and never had any issues with them. So if I start to get a little too sketched out with trying the small tire out, I may go ahead and just bite the bullet, go with the radials. And even though it's a, a bigger tire than what I wanted to do, I, I might just ride with that for now. I know that ultimately the regular cab is probably gonna have to go down to a 15 inch wheel so that I can get a tire option like I really need to be able to put the power down with that truck, but I'm trying to hold off Right now, there's only a couple options of things you can do to fit 15 inch wheels, and all of them involve a lot of money that I don't feel like spending right now. My main focus now is to get that truck running. Um, I'm not trying to you know, spend a lot of money on stuff like brakes and all that that aren't necessarily needed. It's just to be able to fit a smaller wheel. So for now, I'm just gonna use these wheels, put on that truck, and just try to make it go down the track. And if I can't get those to work for me anymore, I'll go ahead at that point and start looking into the 15 inch conversions. But anyways, like I said, that was just a real short and sweet video to kind of go over what was in the boxes. Um, not a whole lot going on out here today. I will say though, just look at them one more time. One more time. Gosh, they look freaking good. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. Like I said, I'm gonna test fit the rest of these wheels, get them boxed up and put them on the shelf for now until it's time to put them to use. Um, if you're interested in getting your own set of wheels, these Bogarts, uh, hit up Adam Aquino. I think that's how you say his last name. If not, sorry. You can find him at A2 Race Development, or you can find him on Facebook or Instagram, either of those. He's normally pretty good with messaging back. So if you're interested in a set of wheels, he can hook you up. If you're interested in any of these deals where you can win stuff like these wheels here, like I said, message me on Instagram. I'll fill you in. A lot of times there's there's a lot of options for power stroke guys. If you're looking for injectors, there's turbo kits, there's wheels, there's CP3s, a little bit of everything for anything you would need to get your race project put back together. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned and maybe we'll be doing some work or either going down a track in the next video. So see y'all next time.